Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be ranking all the maps in Balloon Tower Defense Battles 2. That's a very long name. <laughs> Currently there's only 9 maps, which is not too many. I suspect we'll be getting more maps in the future, but I figured for now, let's rank what we have. Now one thing to keep in mind is that this tier list is very subject to change. I myself have changed my opinion. After trying out some of these maps more, I've changed my opinion on them obviously. And uh, a lot of the enjoyment factor, which is the main thing I'm considering for this list, is largely dependent on the meta, which for people watching in the future, it's entirely just Darling Gun, Ninja Sniper, and any variation of that. So some of the maps on this list I have a bit lower than I think they will be in a couple months when Darling Gun's eventually nerfed, but you know what, that's all boring stuff, let's not worry about that. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So first off, we have the perfect tier. The perfect tier is for maps that are, well, perfect. There's nothing I could possibly want different about them. They are a blast to play, and under no circumstances will I skip this map. Pretty self-explanatory. Moving on to enjoy enjoyable, I can speak. These are maps that, uh, again, are enjoyable. They can be annoying depending on what your opponent's running and what you want to run. And occasionally, very, very rarely, I will skip one of these maps only because I want to get XP for a certain tower. That's not good on them. But usually, you don't want to skip these maps. And usually, both players are happy when one of these shows up. Next up, we have playable. Ma maps that are playable are, are well playable. They, uh, they tend to get skipped a lot, I, I have found, based on the strategy that you are, opponent are running. But you know what? I feel like... Anything from playable and above is a good enough to map to where you usually won't have to skip the map, and, and they make for pretty fun games. In the usually skipped tier, these are maps that, like the name states, are usually skipped, and Ninja Kiwi either needs to remove them, maybe I have some maps in here that are too long for late game, and yeah, you'll see later on. And finally, we have the Delete Forever tier. Maps that are in this in this tier just have no hope and no one i don't know a single person that has ever enjoyed playing games on these maps and if you do you have no soul so yeah th these maps are beyond helping they should just be deleted starting off with the first map we have is mayan now mayan is a map i previously would have had in perfect if not for well darling gunner <laughs> um other than that i think it's a really fun map you can play almost any tower on it which I think is awesome, and I think not not necessarily something a map needs to have, but I think I think Mayan does it well. You can do a lot of different things on Mayan, and if you uh, if you're trying to level up, whether it be like whatever tower, you know, Mayan's always a good map to have. And for that, I'm going to be putting it in enjoyable because it is enjoyable. Um, the only annoying thing is if, when you're playing Dartling Gunner, you basically the game is basically guaranteed to go on to like at least round. I don't know, like 16 or 18 whenever you get fortified ceramics, but other than that, I don't have too many complaints against mine. Pretty solid map, and uh, definitely, definitely enjoy playing on it. Castle Ruins is also an enjoyable map. It's been one of my favorite maps as of recent. I think there's a lot of different th strategies you can go on this map, and my favorite thing about this map is that there's a lot of curves, so you can use Boomerang, which is currently probably my favorite tower, my favorite strategy. And it's also pretty short, so usually if you're skilled enough and if your opponent makes a mistake, it's pretty easy to capitalize on that, and games don't usually go for as long. And that's kind of what I like to see in a map. I like maps that, again, aren't too long. There, you know, there has, to be a, there has to be a good balance, but for now, I'm leaving Castle Ruins in enjoyable. Haha, <laughs> Basalt, uh, yeah, Basalt needs to be deleted. I don't, I don't know a single person that enjoys playing on Basalt, if, I, I don't know why this map exists. I guess this is the, uh, this is probably the one map where water towers shine, or I guess that was the intent for this, which, in a sense, it makes it kind of unique. The only issue I have with this map is how separated the balloons are, the balloon tracks are which really makes this map just super unsatisfying to play. There's very little strategies that work on this map. You can run Dartling Gun, you can run Sub, you can run, I've, I've seen people run Spike Factory, um, Sniper, but there's not too many options. 
as well as getting first blood on this map is just so stressful. But yeah, this map combined with the absolutely horrible placements for towers available, combined with the complete lack of variety in towers, just by far makes this the worst map in the game in my opinion. And I usually, the only circumstances I have played Basalt is when both me and my opponent have used our skips and we were unfortunate enough to land on this map. And it is just absolute sadness when that does happen. But anyway, yeah, Basalt needs to be deleted. Next up, we have Docs. This might be a bit surprising for people, especially for my past self, but I'm putting Docs in Usually Skipped. At least personally, I usually skip Docs unless I'm running a, uh, a very weak tower that I'm trying to level up because then uh, Docs is a really easy map. That's the whole gimmick behind Docs, I feel like. It's a really good beginner map. It's very easy, in my opinion. There's tons of curves. There's tons of little... Uh, three-sided areas for like uh, area of effect towers. There's tons of water. You can run pretty much anything on it. The main issue with it is that it's just so long and that is fine for a new player. This map might seem excellent, but for uh, anybody that's played the game for a few weeks, this map's a very annoying because games go on forever and it just is not fun. I can't honestly remember the last time I've had a game of docs be under round 20 at least in a very long time because usually if both players are skilled enough this it's kind of hard to lose so anyway yeah that's why i usually skip docs next up we have dino graveyard i think that is i think that's what it calls i usually just call it dino but this is also usually skip for me this map doesn't seem too bad i i think uh for a lot of the towers in this game you could definitely play it on this map this is definitely just sort of a biased thing for me. Also, this tier list is incredibly biased in the first place, but um, none of the towers I like running work well on this map. I feel like for land towers that don't have global range, there really isn't a good area where you can see a lot of track. Usually, uh, I don't know if you can see it too well, but there's like a sliver between two track lanes and that's usually where I end up placing my towers. But overall, it's just a really unsatisfying map. It's also a somewhat long map, although it's definitely not as bad as Docs, but yeah, it's just a really unfun map, um, especially for the towers that you can use on it. So that's why I have it at usually skip. This, I could very well see this being a, a good map for some other people, but me personally, I don't ever have fun playing on this map, and uh, I think my win rate on this map certainly speaks for itself. Next up, we have Balloontonium Mines. Uh, I think Balloontonium Mines is our first playable. Um, I definitely like the map more when I used to run Tax Shooter, when when everyone used to run Tax Shooter. However, Balloontonium Mines is just an average map. I mean, there's not really too much to talk about. The only main complaint I have about this map is that there's not there's only two banana farm spots. I think that's kind of lame because. Um, the map is actually, I feel like a lot of people think this map's long. I don't think it, the map's that long. I think it's it's a bit short, at least. It's it's shorter than it seems. And there's a, there's a lot of points where the balloons will loop over themselves, so that provides you with the opportunity of being a bit more strategic on offense whenever you send, like, whenever you try to layer balloons, you know, if, if you're able to do that. But other than, other than that, I don't really have any complaints against this map, and usually if I roll... Balloontonium Mines and I'm not running like Banana Farm for some reason, then I'll usually just play it. Next up we have Koru. Koru is also playable. Now Koru is a very notorious map for being uh, practically the only like I'd say strictly early game map in the game right now. I hope Ninja Kiwi adds more because I think it's really nice to have a, a variety, a diversity in map uh, games if that makes sense at all but yeah Koru is a strictly early game map I don't think I've ever had a game of this go beyond round 26 which is when DDTs arrive I might have but I don't remember and it hasn't been in a while but I think a lot of early game players don't like this map because it is a bit tricky but I I am truly thankful for this map because if not for it then my uh, my trophy grinding would take a lot longer Alright, next up we have Garden. Garden's a pretty okay map. My, the main complaint I have about it is that it's really boring. I feel like there's not too many interesting things that happen on Garden. It's just like, there's not really, there's like that one big obstacle, but 
With Garden, you can essentially do whatever you want in the game. There's so many options. Actually, uh, forget that. I do have one complaint and that there's not many spots for land towers. I feel like a lot of the space in the map is taken up by that giant barn on the right side and left sides of the map and also the water in the path. So that's just a small complaint. But usually if I get Garden, I usually let it slide. You know, it's not really too much to say. You know, it's like... It's like vanilla ice cream, not the good vanilla ice cream, but like the, it's like that fla it's like that flavorless, bland vanilla ice cream that like tastes slightly good that you always have at birthday parties. You know, it's, it's okay. No one really complains, but no one really gets seconds either. And I, I feel like that's what Garden is. Next up, we have objectively the best map in the game, Sands of Time. Uh, every time I think of this map, I get nostalgia from, uh, Garden Warfare 2, if, if any of you guys have played that game. But Sands of Time is just an excellent map. Now, Dartling Gunner is very good on this map, and in my opinion, which is slightly annoying, but I feel like almost every tower is good on this map. It has great water spots, has great crossroads, there's lots of opportunities for offense, the map isn't too long. There really is not anything wrong with this map. There's plenty of space for farms and for helis and for whatever you use to eco. And the map isn't too short to the point where games go uh, strictly early game. So I think Sands of Time is the ideal map. On a side note, if any of you ever skip Sands of Time, I will be, I will be very upset. Never skip Sands of Time. But anyway, I don't really have anything negative to say at all. So yeah, Sands of Time, Definitely the only perfect tier map in the game. Next up we have On the Wall. This one might uh, might uh, might might uh, cause some controversy, but I'm actually gonna put it in enjoyable. Now, uh, the reason for I'm putting it in enjoyable is because of that giant wall. That giant wall specifically makes Sniper and Dartling Gun worse, which is always a plus, at least in this current meta. On the wall, I feel like requires actually some skill to play, even if you're using Dartling Gunner or not. And as the way the pathing is, there's a lot of different towers you can use. So I think on the wall is definitely a great map. I think a lot of people get turned away from the map just because of the wall and maybe because of the water placements. And I think um, a lot of people have PTSD from Balloon Tower Defense 6 on the wall, which is just a horrible map that map sucks but on the wall and battles 2 is pretty fun games don't usually go on for that long but they definitely have the potential to and i think that that variety and possibility is pretty pretty important for a good map and finally we have glade glade is if i'm not mistaken the first map you play in the tutorial where your uh, your tutorial opponent instantly spawns a ring of fire that's what i remember it for but I'm putting Glade in playable. I think Glade is, Glade does something unique where the Moabs have their own separate path, which I, I may or may not have lost a couple games because I forgot about that, but you know, it's, it's fine. The thing with Glade is that because of that separate pathing, I believe the Moab path is like quite a bit shorter than the actual balloon path. It really helps with the, uh, the early game to late game. The early game, games usually last through the early game to the late game, but once they get to the late game, they don't survive for that long. And I think that is, that's pretty cool. Glade has a lot of straight lines as well as curves. So there's a lot of different strategy you could go with and it has pretty good water placement. So you can really run almost any tower on Glade. But anyway, that is my Balloon Tower Defense Battles 2 map tier list. If you enjoyed watching or you just want to help me out, consider subscribing. It it really helps and it shows my support. I believe uh, only like 0.08% of my viewers are subscribed. So that's, uh, I don't know, if, if maybe like one person sub could subscribe, we could get that to like 1%, which would just be absolutely phenomenal. Also, if you have any criticisms, feel free to drop it in the comment below. I, I really like, seriously enjoy responding to comments in all my tier list videos is actually like super exciting for me and whenever i'm just bored i just go through my comment section so i encourage you guys all to comment because that would be pretty awesome but anyway thank you for watching and i will see you guys all next time bye